Steph, did you do the assignment for the weekend? Oh, totally, and I gotta tell you, I feel like Stephanie Meyer really captured the essence of youth and hormonal change through only a few short chapters. What? I read Spark Notes. Good. For a second, I thought we lost you to the monster that is Twilight. Hey. I thought we were on New Moon. I, I don't know if I can actually care any less. Right, it's all the same. I mean, why is everyone in high school anyway if he's immortal? Imagine all the possibilities you can have with this mortal life. It's too big. Anyway, um, yeah, that's all. That's Guys, keep it down. I got a German test. Okay, settle down. Oh, Leonard, eat yellow, yellow third right. Schnitzel bits it. All right, all right, guys. Be honest. Who did the reading over the weekend? So with Casey alerting me of the current situation with our class, um, I was thinking that what better way to entice students to join than the people who love this class? And what better way to do that than the recruitment video? I mean, Ling Hitler Youth. Perfect. All right, guys, this is really important. Listen, stop everything, stop every stupid thing you're doing and look at me, all right? Okay, as some of you may know, our numbers are dwindling since I took over as teacher. But listen, I, I have a plan to get us back to our former former glory, so. So you just class there with like 13 people. That isn't saying much. Yeah, I mean, have you seen the title of this class? No offense, John, but the reason why we're all here is because we need official signatures for a dropping sub to which you can't provide. You know, Okay, as depressed as you've made me, I thought maybe you guys, people who love this class, could do something to get our numbers up. To say I love this class is almost offensive. I mean, what are we even doing in this class? All right, listen. You're probably wondering, but how, Mr. Keating, how do we do this? And, well, let me tell you, we're gonna make a recruitment video. I mean, for this class, really? I love making videos. Maybe now we can finally show the amazingness of Stephanie Meyer's writing. Count me into, Mr. Keating. I'll do anything, anything to be Mr. Keating's right-hand man, even if that means taking down a few of them with me. Thank you. You both have the right mentality. Listen, I just want you guys to start, you know, making some video ideas, start with the basics, um, you know, pro-con list, um, and you know, we'll, we'll generate some ideas and we'll come together later. And then, right now, uh, I want to show you a little sample video that I produced and filmed and edited. And it's something you, this, this, you should aspire to be this, this good, it's good. You may be wondering, what? You may, you may be pondering what is the best class on on camp campus? Look no further. The prolific writings of Stephanie Meyer. Uh, it it offers 
a creative spin turning education on its head. In we cover four of the great Stephanie Meyer, beautiful, wonderful author, and and we read her books. Uh, uh, Mr. Keating. Oh, yes. How can I help you? Lovely. Um, would you say this class is important? Yes. Do you think this class is fun? Yes. Will you let students consume alcohol, watch Netflix, and still get an A? Yes. You heard it here. Take the prolific writings of Stephanie Meyer. Unless you're some kind of weenie. <laughs> we have fun. Please, please join. I mean, it was okay, but if I were him, I wouldn't wait for my letter from the academy. Alright, so uh, that's basically the brainstorming that I want you guys to do. And... Uh, I want you to form a small groups and then we'll convene at the end of class. Mr. Keating, do you really think that's kind of advertising we put out there about this class? Uh, okay, is there, is there a problem? Well, actually? it's just that the video had a lot of loaded promises and false advertising, and I don't think this kind of message we put out there for unsuspecting students. Okay, does anybody else have any concerns with my little advertisement here? God. All right. Let's hear him, uh, Rob. Uh, I, that, was, that was really short. Well, yeah, I only had like 15 minutes to put it together, so. But there was clearly a cut right after you fell, so why didn't you just get rid of it if you had enough time to cut it? Then why not just use that video if that's exactly what you wanted? I mean, if you just wanted us to make it, why did you make that yourself instead of us if that's what you really wanted to do? Yeah, that was stupid. Well, you know, it's a good thing that it wasn't the final product, isn't it? I just made it as an... You know what, just break up into small groups and... So, how about that video? That was a... I know, it was so off-putting. I, for one, thought it conveyed the message of this class perfectly, while trying to appeal to a much dumber audience. That's a shot of the moneymaker, like the Avengers. Perfect in every seemingly way. Speaking of, uh... Do you own any other clothes other than that hoodie and those jeans? It seems like that's pretty much the only thing you wear like every day when you come into class. I'm just curious. Ryan thought I didn't own any other clothes. Ryan was wrong. You know, one easy way to stay fit is eating carrots because carrots don't have calories. So it's basically like eating air. And I mean, it's a win-win for me because it's my day off of working out and I got a big crunch today, so. Trying to cut down calories, right? Trying to, trying to stay fit, are you? That's the plan. Yeah, uh, you know, I heard this really great way to, you know, cut that down. Really, yeah. really easy, effective. Yeah, do you want to hear it? Mm hmm. <laughs> I don't really see how that's supposed to solve anything, but. David comes in every class smelling like some sort of health product. Today it's carrots, and last time it was baby powder. Baby powder. Like, what? What's it gonna be next time? You know, I don't know if I can take any more of that. You, you okay? No, 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 I'm fine, thank you. All right, how's my star group doing over here? Uh, yeah, I was just writing some ideas down, what, nothing too what, big. What is, what is this, why, you know what? Kobe. Anyway, all right, Ryan, you probably no, have something. No, okay, you, no, no, it's, 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 no, it's fine. No, I, Ryan, you really don't want. I, oh. 
the list has one thing on it. I think it's a pretty legitimate idea. You know, guys, I was thinking that for this video, we could do an, like an army recruitment video because in, in the movie New Moon, Edward forms an army of vampires to declare his love for Bella. Oh, so romantic. And he's like fighting with the werewolves, like Edward and Jacob, you know. Like, and Jacob has, but Jacob it looks so much better shirtless than Edward. Edward could stand to eat a cheeseburger. I feel like I somehow always get put into the group of castaways and weirdos. It gets kind of annoying after a while. Between you and me, that Leonard guy really scares the hell out of me. I mean, like, seriously, does he even blink? Like, I'm scared for the safety of everyone in that room, which is saying a lot because I hate them all. Some people say that I'm a little too interested in the Twilight series, but how could you not be when it's just four movies of shirtless hunks running around? I am gonna marry him one day. Just you try and stop me. All right, guys. So, uh, what's your master plan for the video? For the video. So, I was thinking this is a good idea. Instead of advertising it as an easy A, why not advertise as the hardest class in school? That would open up a new demographic. You know, and make you look good once the grades come in. Well, yeah, Leonard, wow, that's actually a really legitimate idea. Um, the only thing is, like, wouldn't they kind of drop, though, once they found out that's not really the truth? I mean... Right. You're right. I'm sorry, hey, that, was, that was just a really bad idea. No, you're fine, man. That was actually really good. I'm Seriously. Sorry, you know, it's cool. It's no cool. big deal. I get it. Oh, what? Am I so stupid? Whoa. Ah! Dudes are literally insane. I, I, what, how do I even respond to a situation like that? So I was texting this one girl. I think she's Chinese or something. I don't know. She's a side project. Then I took a picture and it turned out like this. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to keep my hose in check with pictures like that. There's men in it. I'm the only one. Highlander. Uh, hey, uh, you mind if I uh, talk to you guys in the hallway? Uh, sure. Yeah. Why did you call us out here? Look, do you guys think I'm doing alright teaching this class? Of course. Why wouldn't we? I think you're the best teacher ever, Mr. Keaton. No, listen, I'm not joking. This, uh, this come on, let's be serious. I mean, this, the class is a joke, and uh, with what Casey said and everything, I just... She really wants to add to work and, you know, be a good resume booster. We all think you're doing a good job, John. You took on this crazy task and you're pulling it off with the most enthusiasm I've ever seen. But yeah, without without a doubt, man. I imagine after you teach this class, you'll move on to teach something that students actually want to learn, and they'll love you, all of them. Thanks. Thanks, guys. <sighs> you know, it really means a lot. It really. <laughs> but I mean, what should I do about the video, though? I think I have an idea. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright guys, so through all of your great ideas, I finally put together the perfect recruitment video. So, without further ado. You may be wondering... What <laughs> you may... You may be pondering... What is the best class on, on camp campus? Look no further. The prolific writings of Stephanie Meyer. Uh, Mr. Keating? Oh, yes. How can I help you, lovely? Um, would you say this class is important? Yes. Do you think this class is fun? Yes. Will you let students consume alcohol, watch Netflix, and still get an A? No. You heard it here. Take the prolific writings of Stephanie Meyer. Unless you're some kind of weenie. <laughs>
hope. I have hope for this class. I mean, they might not be the most enthusiastic bunch, but they do have character. <laughs> oh man, do they have character.